School comes fast right now, actually 705 in the morning and just hours before the first bell. Yet another clarification on the AP psychology course for high school students. We do reporter Tiffany Rizzo is standing by at Gateway High School for us this morning. Tiffany, tell us what the latest information is regarding AP psychology this year. Corey, there has been a lot of back and forth on this and some confusion, but Florida is allowing schools to offer this College Board AP Psych course. Now, whether the school district wants to offer it is completely up to them. Now, the Collier County School District is keeping the AP Psychology course, but Lee County is not. Now, the schools districts across the state all face the same question. If they teach the course, do they risk breaking Florida law? State law makes it a crime to teach students about gender identity and sexual orientation. Well, now the state is clarifying the curriculum for AP psychology to superintendents saying the framework meets state law. According to the Tampa Bay Times, the state sent out a letter to superintendents writing in part, quote, it is the Department of Education's stance that the learning target describe how sex and gender influence socialization and other aspects of adult uh, development can be taught consistent with the Florida law. Last week, the College Board and the Department of Education butted heads over course content regarding sexual orientation and gender identity, leading to many school districts dropping the class altogether. There's that fine line is, is that violating the law because you might speak about a certain subject in a certain chapter. It's even speaking to students who have had that class and what they believe that they um, learned from that uh, and what they gained from it. For them not to be able to, re, you know, to receive that, it, I think that's, you know, it's kind of sad. And today we're going to reach out to the Lee County School District to see if they're going to reverse their decision. Now that this state's clarification came out last night. Reporting live in Lee County, Tiffany Rizzo, Wink News.